Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Synthesis Perma 2020 and welcome to Eisentam. It's our first planet in Eisentam and we have, I have built a little tiny base here uh, at the um, ancient ruin and we're going to explore this planet today. I don't know if we'll make it to the other planet. I have uh, a battery here connected to some uh, electromagnetic generators are on the other side of the mountain there. We get we have tons and tons of power. Way more than we can use here. <laughs> I might put up a few domes. Got a teleporter and a galactic trade terminal. And so far that's all we need. I've uh, set this place uh, in the teleporter list and I've teleported to one other system uh, and back. So we have the uh, Luz Bedid Popo Base Isentam First Base. And it's all uploaded and ready to go. Now let's check out this planet. There's a little guy over the hill right there. <laughs> there we go. So that, that was our first creature. There's only six creatures? Wow. Hi, little guy. <laughs> Not going anywhere in particular. We have a few missions. I took all the missions in the space station that are here. Here's this plan. I've been wondering about it. Carbonate Facium. That's cool. It's a little bit more cloudy here than I like. There's some more star bulb up there. Lots of little patches of star bulb, I guess. Oh, there's a plant. Little bushes here and there. Oh, there's a building. Cool. Mark that as a destination. We do have a lot of, um, a lot of recipes to learn. I knew I wasn't getting, uh, or not recipes, but blueprints from the construction thing. Um, I knew I wasn't getting very many. Get word for come. Get a plant. I like scanning all the stuff. Not to mention the money it gains. Look at that, 70,000 per plant. I mean, pretty good there. Oh, there's the bird. <laughs> I think I hear another animal. I hear a lot of roaring engine noise. We're just at that point. Oh, there's some floating crystals down there. Some rock. I also hear a lot of jets flying overhead, so we might be close to something pretty big. Or maybe they're flying around because I put down a landing pad. Oh, there's a big thing. What do we have here? Paraffinium. There we go. There's four. Oops. I scared them. <laughs> Look at that sky. It's incredibly red. There's the other bird. We got one very rare animal to go. I'm just wondering what we have over here.
Well, don't have that yet. I've never actually done this before. What I usually do when I get to a new galaxy is immediately go find a wealthy system. <laughs> oh, cool. Let's see what we got here. Flickering emblems appear on the stone, although I do not recognize the language. Somehow I can read of the history of this strange planet and the Gek who once resided here. The foul scent of the Gek cannot be opposed. The first spawn commands all its surveys. We are masters of the stars. Our rule shall endure eternally. <laughs> the Viking and Korvax cower in despair at our name. <laughs> I don't think that's true, Gekki people. I think they laugh at you. Already got that guy. <laughs> well, I haven't scanned any of these poisonous plants yet. Impulse beans. <laughs> Can't resist the impulse beans, though it's way over there. sun up in that great sky. This place is awesome. There's the portal address down there in the lower left corner. We are way, way high up in the alpha quadrant. Oh, there's some impulse beans right next to that poisonous plant. Of course, we use uh, impulse beans to make chocolate. not be on a trail of knowledge stones. There's one over there. Here's a flower. <laughs> My intention to scan everything might be thwarted because everything is a lot of things on a lush planet. <laughs> something there. Maybe it's in the grass. There it is. I can't even see it. It's so tiny. There's something down there. One little leaf. Can't even see it. <laughs> a hole. There's some stuff. Let's see what this cave looks like. So far it looks awesome. Oh, album and pearls. mission. <laughs> Calm down, suit lady. It's gonna be okay. Caves are always so short for me. Sometimes I find big, huge caves, but they don't usually have plants in them. They're just those big, huge caverns, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nearby toxins detected. <laughs> Got stuck. Wait, is that it? That might be the little tiny leaf that I was seeing. Can't see it because it's dark. What time is it? Only 11 o'clock. Good grief. Sodium. There we go. 
deck word for demand. Should have gone to the sunny side of the planet. This part of the planet's super mountainous. Of course, our ship was down in that really, like, major deep hole in the ground. Ah. Wheat and beans. <laughs> Still have lots and lots of nanites to make. Gek word for detected. So far, uh, all the land animals have been those sort of uh, little beaver type creatures. Oh, here's some album and pearls. Yeah, they're really gross. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was a little rock sitting there. <laughs> Here's one of those really deep uh, canyons. Hard to find animals at night time. I passed by some oxygen earlier and I messed up. I should have scanned it because I haven't really seen any since then. Get word for just. I must have like a ton of wheat. See, I already got that plant. There's another one right there. It's hidden behind these rocks. Look at that. Let's see, 343, 311. Just grabbing words, waiting for the sun to come up, really. Oh cool, there's a damaged machinery next to that knowledge stone. Guess we better grab the salvage or the uh the buried tech module while we're here. If I can find it. Here it is. Three of them. Oh, cool. There's another building. And where did that other knowledge stone go? Right there. I had to, uh, make a ton of pure ferrite. Apparently I didn't have any pure ferrite uh, for that base. So probably about half of it came from these rocks. And uh, that was before I scanned them so I didn't have a ton of paraffinium. Oh, 
One thing I did forget to do is we need to drop uh, all of the um, all of the exocraft down uh, because you have to have them somewhere in the galaxy uh, in order for the call station to work effectively or to work at all really. Aha. <laughs> I thought it was actually, uh, oh, bolt caster module, that's a bunch of nanites. I thought it was actually a uh, um, wheat plant, but... <laughs> there we go. And what do we have here? Oh, cool, a region marker, finally. <laughs> That's what that is, hiding in the grass. Sneaky thing. Just looking for animals. Just need one more. Got another building. a resource depot. No. Nope, it's damaged machinery. Thought I saw a little sentinel thing there. coming up. Finally see the planet. Lots of those uh, hazardous cave plants just hanging out in the grass. Look at that mountain range over there. That is really cool. Oh, here's some wheat. <laughs> I'm addicted to wheat and uh, impulse beans. Here's sunrise. What a great planet. Is that a tree I haven't seen? No, I think I got that one. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there's another building. This grass is awesome. It's not just brown. There's all kinds of green patches in it. A lot of people don't like the brown grass, but it's a lot more natural, I think. Oh, cool. Still don't see that other creature, though. One creature to go. Let's see, where did 
I see that right there. A lot of people go back and fill in those holes. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Doesn't appear to be anything in there. All right, let's cheat. Let's cheat and see what that last creature is. Yep, that's actually what I thought it was. It's a uh, rare ground creature. So we just have to suss him out. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's a huge crab. I don't know how we could have missed him. <laughs> Let's make a pellet. <laughs> there you go. There's something to eat. <laughs> He's gigantic. <laughs> Look at that. I'll wait for him to turn around. It takes a lot of space. <laughs> He's shaking the whole ground. <laughs> Now he's stuck on the hill. <laughs> oh, wonder how much that comes to. Twenty-three. <laughs> wow, twenty-three facium. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> Well, that mountain over there looks cool too. Now he's gonna want more food. <laughs> There's a bunch of different kinds of mountains here. Oh my gosh, there's poop everywhere. <laughs> I wonder if we can get up there. That looks really steep. Well, before I forget... Grab that. Don't know how many we have now. Probably uh, 12, I'm guessing. Um, 14, cool. 14 planetary zoologies. Yeah, right here. Another plant that I missed. I got a little bit of stuff fixed. I haven't fixed the radiant pillar yet, but we won't need it until we use a black hole. We'll, uh, we can head over to where Ocean Beaches is, but, uh, the planet there isn't the same. It's, uh, a sort of solid yellow planet. Yellow on yellow on yellow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's going to be a heck of a fall. <laughs> Look at his legs shaking. He's like, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Here we are. What am I looking at here? Uh, curious deposits. wonder if we can get them to roll off the mountain. <laughs> it takes some work, though. Oops. Oh, it's gonna be stuck. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it to roll off the mountain. Not that one anyway. <laughs> that one's got a little more force to it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't think you can just bump them. Oh, maybe you can. Oh, I wasted that other one. Could have just rolled it. <laughs> Come on now, cooperate. These aren't quite like the golden balls that you find on top of ancient ruins. <laughs> Can't get it out of the hole. <laughs> I'll just take the chloride lattice. <laughs> There's a whole ecosystem up here. this cliff edge right here. <laughs> it's a long way down. Got ourselves a really gorgeous starting planet here. Oh, <laughs> heights make me nervous. <laughs> there we go. That's the, once again, that's the portal address for this beautiful planet. 693,000 light years from the center, way up high in the Alpha Quadrant in Isentam Galaxy. <laughs> all right, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for coming along on our very first planet in Isentam. Uh, it's an awesome planet. We've got a little base here, and uh, we're going to take off and see what else is out there tomorrow. I want to uh, thank you again for coming along. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.